Hi, I'm uh, Corporal Steve Johnson, British Royal Military Policeman. Uh, I've served in the British Army for 17 and a half years now. Uh, I've done 11 operational tours of various different conflicts throughout the world from uh, Bosnia in the early 90s, Rwanda, Sierra Leone, Kosovo, uh, into Albania, Iraq, Afghanistan, uh, which was my most recent tour in Afghanistan. Uh, after I came back from Afghanistan, I was a. Uh, I would say I was suffering quite a lot. Uh, I went and seen a military psychiatrist, and I was diagnosed with acute PTSD, clinical depression, and persistent insomnia. Uh, this this was causing me to have hypervigilance, uh, palpitations, sleepless nights. Uh, I had regular flashbacks. It caused me a, a lot of disturbance in my sleep pattern, in my family life, and in basically everything I did. Uh, after seeing a psychiatrist, I, I was admitted to hospital uh, into a famous rehabilitation clinic. Uh, once I was in this rehabilitation clinic, it, it was mainly people with addictions uh, and other problems, uh, mainly civilian people, and I had nothing in common with them. So I found it really hard to express myself in, t in groups. Even though I was on a lot of medication, I, I couldn't get over the fact that I was having to be in these groups with all these different people with addictions and drink problems and things like that. And I had none of these. I just couldn't tell them uh, what was going on for me. So for the, the first two, three months, I, I sat in groups and I did nothing at all. I never spoke and I, I found it really hard. Uh, and then on a Friday we had a... Uh, you could either write your, your narrative or you could express yourself through drawing a picture or painting a picture using chalk, graphite, uh, paint, anything you wanted. Uh, this is when I thought this is maybe a way I can have of communicating with people of what I have going on for me, uh, what is happening in my dreams uh, and expressing myself and letting these people know what really happens when a soldier like myself comes back from war. Uh, this is when I started painting and drawing pictures. Uh, I started off, my first picture was of a hand, uh, a dismembered hand and of a fingerprint. And this was of a day in Afghanistan after a, an IED when as a military policeman on the scene I had to go out and I had to pick up all the pieces of the IED, photograph the scene and do everything else uh, in accordance with what I had to do uh, as in our SOPs. Uh, after drawing the picture and showing it to the group uh, a lot of people then understood what was going on for me and that I was maybe in the wrong place for uh, for soldiers to be. But time went on, uh, every Friday, I looked forward to every Friday coming and I started expressing myself more, doing more drawings, more paintings uh, and using art therapy as it was to relax, painting my own pictures and decorating my house just as a come down, trying to get over my feelings and my expressions to everyone else and just so people understood what was happening. Uh, some of the pieces you can see around me, I, I paint nearly every day now because it grounds me, it helps me understand and it helps me relax. Uh, some of my paintings I sell, some I donate to charities, uh, mainly soldiers' charities, veterans' charities, just so to help other guys like myself who have been through conflict understand and understand that art therapy can be an outlet for everyone else. It helps people visually understand what is going on. My paintings now are more peaceful. They're, they're a lot more tranquil. A lot of them are of escapes 
and things like that. These are, this is things I want to see. <laughs> I've had enough of seeing war. After 11 operational tours, uh, I've seen pretty much everything. Uh, and the scapes that I now paint is my way of relaxing. And the more I do, the more relaxed I feel. Uh, most of my dreams have stopped now. Uh, Hypervigilance is subdued. Uh, and I'm starting to get on with my life. I'm starting to enjoy more and more things. I was once described as stoic, meaning a person who doesn't feel grief, pleasure, pain or joy. I do now. I really do. It's unbelievable the power that getting up in the morning and seeing a piece of art on your own wall in your house that you've painted and seeing the colours, the textures uh, and what is going on and just being able to say to yourself I did that, I can do that if other people do what I've done maybe not the war side of things but if other soldiers can get through life and see some of the paintings that other veterans do and are inspired by what we do please you know the, the more people that do it the better it can be and the easier it will be for more and more veterans that come back from war with problems like myself and it will it will help everyone if we can make art therapy a worldwide thing to help veterans things will be a better better times and it'll be good times and I know from my last visit to America, sitting with other veterans, other veterans help veterans. No matter, it's, it's a bond. When you talk to a veteran, only really people that have been through what you've been through really understand what you have going on for you. When I look into another veteran's eyes, you can see all the way through them you can see their thousand yard stare and unless you've been there and you understand what that veteran has gone through people never really know until you put it on a piece of paper you write it down you write a narrative you write a poem you draw a picture you paint a picture you even just dip your hands in paint and put it on a bit of paper people aren't expressive enough with words or articulate enough to write down a poem or anything like that but if you can give someone a paintbrush and just say dip it in any colour and just put it on a piece of paper that will change that person's life uh, and the more we push art therapy and other therapies EMDR, CBT, groups the easier it will be for us soldiers coming back from war. Godspeed, Steve Johnson, Royal Military Police, England.